So here I've got uh, two strips of fabric cut for my handles and the two strips of CF808 and SF101 that will be going inside of them. So you're going to start off just by setting the interfacing aside and pressing your handles wrong sides together. And you're also going to press under a quarter inch hem on each of the short sides here. So then open out your handle and you're going to fit that SF101 underneath that seam allowance right up against that fold and if you find yours is just slightly too long just trim a little bit of it off So just press that into place and repeat for the second piece. And then you're going to repeat that with your CF808. It's too long. So after you've done that, you're going to fold your handles in towards the centre along that folded edge. and repeat that for the second side. I'm having a lot of trouble getting my CF808 to stick today. It does not want to play ball. Okay, so once you've got all that folded in, you're going to fold it in half like a hot dog, aligning those edges and press it all one more time. And glue this if you would like, or just hold this together with clips. And if you can see any of those seams poking through at the bottom here, just go and give them a bit of an extra tuck up in there, just to make sure that everything, all those raw edges are staying out of the way. Okay, so we're going to take that to the sewing machine now and stitch around all four edges very close to the edge, probably at about a sixteenth of an inch seam allowance. 
and we'll repeat the process with the second handle here. Now just give your handles a press. And you've got a pair of very nice sturdy handles here um, that are fine just the way they are. But if you would like to add um, some extra pr trim to these, uh, just to finish them off a bit, and you're going to take some lengths of binding B and just like we did when we were finishing the top of the flap I'm just going to press under a quarter inch hem just on one long edge here and I'm going to trim this to I'm just going to So this is ending up at about ten and a half inches long here. So I'm going to have, by the time I've folded these two raw edges at the end under, about a ten inch long piece of binding here. Yep. So you're going to need to cut yourself four ten and a half inch long lengths of binding B and prepare these like I've showed you here where you press under one long edge like so so I'm going to mark the midpoint on one of the handles here and the midpoint on one of these pieces of binding so just fold it in half and give it a pinch that's all you need to do for that and you're going to line up that midpoint on one of the sides here so you've got right sides together and I'm just going to clip this and as I get near the end I'm going to fold back a quarter of an inch on here 
and clip that down. And the same along here. Just press under a quarter of an inch hem on this last raw edge and put that in place. Now we can take this to the sewing machine and stitch up down this at a quarter of an inch seam allowance. In fact, I'll probably do it at a quite a scant quarter inch seam allowance uh, just because we've got quite a few layers that we're going through here now. So by the time we flip this round to the other side, we will have used up some of that seam allowance just in the thickness here. Now we're going to make the drawstring casing for the bag. So there's two casings for this and we have a longer one for the back and a shorter one for the front panel. Holding under a quarter of an inch on each short edge. And then a following quarter of an inch again on each short edge. So you're rolling that under twice to encase all of those raw edges. So then we're going to take this to the sewing machine and stitch very close to the first folded edge on each of these short sides. So repeat this for the second casing. Okay, give both of your casings a press again and then we're going to fold them in half wrong sides together along the long side and then we're going to clip across the raw edges here So now we're going to stitch at an eighth of an inch away, basting these raw edges together. And then I'm going to top stitch a second row of stitching three quarters of an inch away from the raw edge to encase the row of 
uh, stitching that the drawstring will actually run through. Now you're going to find the midpoint on each of these casings. So just mark that by folding it in half, giving it a good crease, and then marking that with your pen. And then we're ready to attach these to the bag.